Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we have a special one. We are going to be educating on the front foot elevated reverse lunge in the Smith machine. Look at that, that is a name, isn't it? Look for that in your program, it's gonna fill up the entire little square. Okay, so in this movement, we are going to be targeting the glute max, and we're going to be targeting the glute max in the lengthened position. Very challenging movement, but very simple in terms of the cues that we're going to provide. Now, Sue is going to get us set up here and get into the Smith machine. The box that she has is going to be roughly four inches. The main thing that we want to focus on within the box that we're utilizing is just enough of an elevation to where we have a greater range of motion and not running our knees into the ground. Now, within a reverse lunge, we're going to be stepping back, correct? And so what Sue's going to do is she's going to unlock the, uh, the bar here. And before she gets started, how she's going to get set up is that she's going to find tension in her glutes, just as if she was at the end range of a glute bridge. So she's going to be contracting the glutes and creating stability. She's going to contract her core. Now, her initiating action is going to be pushing the hips back while trying to maintain that tension on the glutes. As she continues to push back, she's going to be maintaining all of the weight on that front leg. We are only utilizing this back leg from a stability standpoint. So if Sue comes up here, go ahead and show them what would be the wrong thing to do with this back leg. If she doesn't mean, <laughs> that is very wrong, don't do that. We're wanting to keep all the weight on that front leg and simply use this when you're needing it from a, look at, wow, I, I cannot do that. If you guys saw me in here, my, my back leg would have gone down a little bit faster. So as she's pushing back, she's maintaining tension on that glute. As she's at this bottom position, she still has great tension in this glute. How she's going to come out of this is by driving her hips forward. She's not going to think to just jump up. She's going to think of how can I get my hip back into a place of extension. So that is going to be the thing that we really wanna focus on within this movement, as well as we wanna make a note of her upper body. So as you guys will see, as she's lunging down, her upper body is falling forward, but her spine is staying neutral. That's going to be a very important piece here because she could, if she's not contracting her core, and I do not want you to not do that, she would be hunching over and putting her spine in a poor position. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping the spine neutral. The fact that she's staying in this bottom position is very impressive. And that is going to be how we execute the front foot elevated reverse lunge in the Smith machine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you wanna look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.